There is, there is a teaching in Scripture that you know, what goes around comes around. That when you start doing evil, or if you lay a trap or a snare for someone, that you're going to get caught in that trap. When you do bad things, bad things are going to come back around to you. And the reason why, it's not because of some universe and, and yin yang or anything like that. It's because God is not mocked. That's why. Because everybody that thinks they could get away with this stuff and be all proud and lift it up in themselves and do and think they could do whatever they want. God's not going to be mocked like that. He's going to make sure it comes back around on their own head and that, and that they'll fall in their own trap. And we see here with this this king, you know, he was cutting off thumbs and toes. Well, look what happened to him. He thought he was all high and mighty for a long time, and then, and then there he is in that same situation. And I think what we learn from that, go back to Judges 1, what we learn from that is just be careful with how you live your life and the things that you do. You know, if you ever get in positions of power, or authority, or anything like that, you better treat people right and treat them with respect and treat them with dignity no matter, you know, what position you're in. Because when you start treating people poorly... It's going to come back to you. God's not going to be mocked. And when you start sowing to the flesh, you're going to reap corruption according to the Bible. But if you sow to the Spirit... But see, there, there's two sides to that coin. Obviously, we don't want to be sowing bad things because then we just got to worry about, oh man, what's going to come back to me? What's going to come back on my own head? And honestly, there's, there's some things that I think, and, I, and, and I've, I've believed this for a real long time, because I've often thought, like, man, I don't feel like I've necessarily reaped for everything that I've sown. Like, I could think back and just think of sins and just be like, you know, God's been very merciful, but I'm still worried. Because what happens when you sow is that you don't reap the next day. You don't reap immediately. This king, I mean, he had defeated, what is, 70 kings, Right. It took a while to catch up to him, but it did catch up to him. When you do evil, and this is what, one of the bad things that will oftentimes get people to continue to sin and get worse and worse, because just because you go out and sin today and you do something you know is wrong, you do something I know I shouldn't be doing, you could go, well, nothing happened. I'm okay, right? And then another week goes by. And you're thinking, you know, Pastor Burzins was like screaming his head off about this being a sin. If it's so bad, how come nothing's happened to me? Because you don't reap immediately and don't let that deceive you. Don't let the lack of that reaping that doesn't happen immediately deceive you because what's going to happen is that it's going to embolden you to continue to sin and it's going to get worse and worse. You need to check yourself and say, hold on a second. The Bible teaches that God's not going to be mocked and I will reap what I've sown. And I think, but, but here's the thing though, is that when you think back of stuff that you've done in the past, like I think about what I've done. I've already confessed and forsaken my sins. In my heart, you know, like, like I've, I had to get that right with God myself. Now, I don't think that necessarily means that I'm not going to receive for some of the things that I've done. But I also look at it like this. And, and, and I, I, I apply what, I, what happened to the Apostle Paul. He had done all kinds of bad things in his life, you know, especially before, you know, before he got saved, persecuting the church, bringing all these things against Pete, you know, just, just all this persecution was kind of the big thing that, that he was doing that was just really bad. Well, what happened to Paul? He ended up receiving a lot of persecution. He was, I mean, go through the list of, of you know, I was a night and a day in the deep. I was, um, you know, in perils among robbers and perils among brethren. You know, I was stoned. I was, you know, all these different things happened to him. Now, the difference is, though, is that he got to go through those things and it all brought glory unto God. So in a sense, and, and I'm not dogmatic about this. This is just the way that I see the scripture. Just so you understand, I'm not saying that, that, that I'm 100% right about this and that, you know, there's no other way to understand this. But 
I think that there's a way for him to be able to receive what he's done in his flesh and reap what he sows, but then because he's doing right and because, you know, the Bible says that all things work together for good to them that love God, for them that are called according to his purpose, because he loved God then after those things and wanted to do what's right, even though he's, he is kind of reaping for that, he, he's also able to use that then for the furtherance of the gospel and for the glory of God. And ultimately, I think that he ends up, he'll end up, you know, with more crowns as a result, too. I'm not, and I'm not saying don't, don't go out and get in sin so you can be, you know, get, get all this persecution laid on you. The persecution can come either way. I just see it as there's, there's kind of multiple things can be going on in people's lives. So, um, the most important thing, though, is to, is to confess and to forsake those sins and, and to get them right. But what I was saying when I started going into this a little bit was that there's two sides of that coin, though. So as much as you need to be careful not to get into too much sin, because you will reap. And every time you reap, you reap even more, right? So you don't just get back the one bad thing that you did. It's going to come back as, as, you know, like when you plant a seed, and it brings forth fruit. It brings, you know, tenfold, fiftyfold, a hundredfold is going to come back to you because that's what happens when you reap. You don't just reap one seed back that you sown. You reap back a lot more. 